Yes, thank you, Chair. Uh, I've heard some people uh, refer to this app as a so-called deconfinement app, uh, as if the app is going to reopen the borders. Uh, well, let me tell you something, it will not. Uh, we need a range of other measures. What will open the borders is a common European approach and interoperability. That is what will open the borders. And what we see is member states going in all directions again, not just 27 national apps, but in e even a range of regional apps. Now, that is a barrier to free movement. Uh, national governments are presenting the app as a silver bullet against the pandemic. But not only is it not a silver bullet, it's also not going to solve the problem uh, of politicians that they have to reconcile health concerns and economic concerns. And they're just hoping for this app to be the answer to that dilemma, but it's not. But we do need full transparency on the decision making, not just on the technical aspects, but also on why governments choose a particular model, why they choose particular providers, where are the political and the commercial interests. And finally, I agree with everyone who said it must be strictly voluntary. And not only does that mean that it should not be mandatory, but there has to be a legal ban on making downloading the app a precondition for entering public spaces like public transports or schools or gyms, or indeed crossing the borders because freedom of movement in Europe is a fundamental right. Thank you.